Printing is such a fantastic process which is performed on textiles and more and more other fields. Printing can be performed on metal, paper, glass, ceramic, fabrics, concrete and nowadays there are a number of different printing techniques from pad printing to 3D printing, from laser printing to lithography. In this video we won't talk about special types of printings such as devore or pyrography. Since we will talk just about conventional printing with pastes and inks, let's see that together. First of all, let's distinguish two types of conventional, traditional textile printing, analog printing and digital printing. Among analog printing we have hand block printing. I won't say that this method is obsolete since I still see this printing nowadays. Perrotin printing, it's a type of block printing invented by Perrault, not used anymore. Engraved copper plate printing, very craft made and artisanal, still used in particular workshops. Roller and cylinder printing, rotogravure and offset printings are not used in textiles just for papers, leaflets and others. Flexo textile printing is still used. This technology uses an inking roller called Anilox roller that regulates the correct amount of ink that is taken through a doctor blade to a cliché roller with a drawing you want to obtain. Stencil printing, still very artisanal, hard to find but still used. And screen printing through a photo engraved frame and pastes you have a blade that applies the color on the fabric. It can be performed on fabrics and garments. One roller or one frame for each color. If you want to dye in the four color process you need at least four rollers or four frames. Rollers and frames are fantastic guys because due to these technologies you can apply special type of printings such as flocks or glitters that do not use pastes and inks. Enough with analog printing, we also have digital. Among digital printing we have inkjet. Most used, digital printing can be performed by plotters and digital printing machines. Whereas analog has one ink for one roller or frame, in digital printing we have cartridges with a certain amount of ink inside one, two or five liters each. Then we have DTG, direct to garment. With this technology, you can print directly on cotton t-shirts or sweatshirts. Then we have sublimation printing or direct to film printing, DTF. It's a two-step printing. First you print to a transfer paper film, then you transfer the film into the fabric through a calendar or a heat transfer. And then we have heat transfer printing, sublimation or plastic or rubber patches you want to print to the fabric, such as logos. Normally inks for digital printing machines are slightly different from pastes used normally in conventional textiles because they are less viscous and less dense, because the inks must pass through the nozzles which are very very tight. You can print yarn cones, hanks, fibers, fabrics, finished garments, tops, and so on, there is no rule in printing. But the question is, should I print with analog or digital printing? Both are very valid, choosing the correct way of printing depends on your needs. We can say that the four main things to look at are, for example, urgency. Analog printing needs the preparation of the fabric, digital does not need it. You can charge your image on the file and the machine starts. Furthermore, screen printing frames and analog rollers need to be engraved before used. Then we have the speed. Digital is not as fast as analog printing. If you have a lot of meters of fabric to print, analog is better. Then we have the quality. Normally digital inkjet printing has better resolution than analog ones, but today with Flexo you can reach good resolutions thanks to new analog rollers with several cells engraved. And then we have the space problem. Cylinders and rollers and frames occupy a lot of space in the warehouse. You need to stock them with a roof. Digital printing needs a USB key for the image you want to print. That's it for today guys, hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below along with my email, Reddit and so on. If you need any textile consultancy, I am at disposal naturally. So yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.